Hey guys, Christian here for another uh, little tutorial uh, of how I pot palms up and I just happen to be potting these palms up in my house which I normally do the nursery but since I'm here and I was doing it I'm like why don't I go ahead and just film what I'm doing so here we go um, you know there are many types of pots that are used in the nursery tray there's one gallon which is not pictured but if you look over there that green pot there with the cactus it's looking kind of crappy in it that's a one gallon the next step up is usually a three gallon next to that is a seven next to that is a 15 and next to that is a 30. now they're not actually holding that many gallons this is what the nursery calls it their actual size is going to be smaller if you actually were like i don't know put a plastic bag in it and fill it up with milk it probably fill up maybe two-thirds or half of that so um i am stepping up the stipsis pembana here from three gallon to seven gallon i thought about when you're judging when you should how much you should pot up your palm you need to take into effect um, the soil type and how fast it's going to grow and also um, you know if you take a palm that is very slow growing it likes a lot of drainage um, and you try and pot it up from say like a one gallon or say a three gallon here to a 15 gallon now realize that that plant's not going to root that out a slow growing plant maybe for two years now in that time if your drainage is not good or your soil decomposes to the point where there's just no real drainage you're gonna get root rot in a palm that doesn't that needs good drainage now there's some plants that just don't care and you can just pot them into whatever soil at whatever time but it's good to have optimal growth out of your palm so um, here the dipsis they like having decent drainage they don't like sitting in water um, so I thought about if you see here, I popped them. When when your plant's ready to come out of the pot, you'll be able to pull it up most of the time by the trunk, and it'll just come right out, or the roots will kind of get to kind of maneuver the roots out of the bottom. There'll be some coming out of the sides here, the bottom hole. Best thing to do is to kind of like pot the hit it on the bottom, pop it on the sides a little bit, kind of break it up from uh, its lock with the edge of the pot. And usually, if you pull at the pot and pull at the plant, you know, not like real hard but it'll, it'll kind of mosey itself out now I thought about putting this at a 15 gallon but I thought okay well I might plant this out once it's a seven gallon or I might sell it when it's a seven gallon um, but I decided yeah, to ultimately put it in a seven and uh, you can see that it has quite a bit of root uh, matter there I mean it's just they were rooted solid there's I can just pick this up and you know no problem there's just solid roots in there that's what your roots are going to look like in a lot of palms. I don't know if that, the glare is that bad. Let me see if I can get it in here a little bit. I don't know if that's any better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Uh, so, the person I got this from did not pot up the roots all the way. So it's better when I repot this, I'm actually going to pot it back up to where the, the bottom of the trunk is. And roots will grow downward first. Then they'll grow to the sides most of the time. And then they'll grow up last. So if you have roots that are coming up out from the from the bottom of your pot then you know it's time to repot your plant in most circumstances there are exceptions but that's a general rule um, you get those upward roots and that plant's looking for anywhere to get uh, more moisture and probably dries out pretty fast so right here you want to situate it not necessarily you want the center of the plant to be in the pot where the root system is it's so right there I have it right in the middle right where I want it usually that's right where the middle of the of the the, the up, upsize pot but make sure you know if your plant was growing on one side of the pot try and recenter it just makes it easier the root system isn't all awkward and when planting it it just doesn't have a you, you know there's no bias to one side or the other because the root boss that does roots sitting right there you want them right in the middle where they're going to get pro, you know the moisture will wick away differently from the sides so I have the other one here now these are not looking the best that they should and, that, and the reason is because I got them as kind of a, uh, you know, help me out, please, a rescue plant, if you will. So, the, uh, you know, there's a little bit of burned leaves, you know, the roots are, are exposed. You know, the roots down here, if you see them, they're actually pretty healthy, uh, but they are, it's solid. So, you want to get that into a new pot where they can kind of break out and grow. Now, people say, oh, you know, you should, I should pick at these roots, you know, and, and let them come out and let them expose. That's really not necessary. Um, water in time will just basically do its, you know, will take that course. 
you don't need to pull apart the roots. In fact, on some plants, I wouldn't touch them at all because you can risk breaking a big root. You know, you'll shock the plant. You just don't want that. So I have just taken a lot of plants that I know are relatively easy growing. I'll just take some uh, old mix that I had from pots that either didn't make it or community pots that are done with. Uh, well, some, some perlite, mix it in. This is a very, not a very well draining mix. Um, I use it for seedlings when I need them to hold their moisture. So I mix in a lot of perlite. It's probably 50 50, if not more. And I put some at the bottom there. And I only have one hand here, so I can't show you a potted up plant. I can take a picture of it later. Why don't I pause it and you'll see how high I'll put the uh, soil when we're done. So I'll pause it here. There we go. Okay, we're back. Sorry about my. <laughs> That was going to get returned to the uh, to the store because that uh, just busted now. I'm not sure what happened, but if you look now, yeah, the sun here, you can see there's soil in the pot. Now you're going to say, hey, Christian, you know, there's soil all over the place. It's not like properly put in. And you're right. People say, oh, well, you can pack it in. Well, you don't necessarily have to pack it in. In fact, you can just water it in, and then you can kind of see what it does is it reduces air pockets in the soil. In fact, it's mandatory that you water it in. If you don't, the air pockets can cause the roots to air prune, meaning basically dry out, and the plant will just kind of stop growing in that area. So you don't want to slow your plant down. Um, so when I go ahead and water this in, you'll see the soil is going to come down because all the air is going to be taken out of it. And you're going to have a much more uniform. Sometimes you got to maneuver the soil a little bit with the water because you just so, you know, it doesn't look very pretty right now, just watered in, but I got to go over and do it to the other one. And you do it to that one as well. Get it all in there, make sure it's all around. You don't want to just do one side. It's a little bit harder to do one hand. Usually, I'd, it's, e it's easier to move the soil around with one hand while you water it in, especially when you're just kind of doing it with what I call is reused soil. So, if this were a little bit more delicate of a plant, I would be a little bit easier on it, but this one doesn't really care. So you also want to water the tips to make sure, I mean, you want to make sure this plant doesn't transpire. When you take it out of the pot completely, it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> someone taking off your clothes and throwing you in a meat locker for a little bit. I mean, it is warm out here. It's about 82 degrees, but uh, especially if it's cooler out, they don't, they don't like that. Even the, um, the more cold tart ones just don't want cold roots uh depends on the plant but anyway i'm going to finish up that watering after this video but i want to show you that um some plants you know want big pots right away they grow real fast if you don't pot them up in time they will stunt and these were kind of on the verge of starting they were not stunting but i know them well enough to know they would start not putting out the proper spears um and even though you can see these leaves are tattered the new growth is nice and this, this spear is nice, and even down there you can see a second spear is coming out there. So it, it is going it is growing well into the uh, the sun, even though the plant right now, it is, it's perfectly fine. It w in the nursery tray, we wouldn't call it saleable. I mean, I wouldn't want to put this plant for sale, you know, as a proper, like, okay, it's ready. But, uh, you know, about six months or so, when those leaves come through, it'll be a nice, healthy seven-gallon plant. In fact, this thing will probably need repotting if I don't uh, sell it by the end of, the, end of this coming summer. So, um, so that's how that works. I will uh, hopefully get more videos out. And, uh, I'm trying to go on one per day. I'll see how that works. And uh, for now, I'll let you guys go and enjoy. It's a beautiful day out. So uh, have a good weekend, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Oh, just remember, uh, if you enjoy the video, press the thumbs up button and uh, subscribe if you want to watch some more uh, plant stuff. Palm, palm, tropical, anything. So hopefully I'll have some more interesting videos continuing to come in the future. All right, have a nice weekend.